Well, last day fishing. Uh, we had a shower a little earlier. It's a late start, 2.50, 2.20. So, 40 minutes up again. It's a long hike. A little tired. It was would have been nice to have a break day, but it's my last day, so I can't really do that. Plus, it's 350 kroner in fishing licenses, so I can't waste that. But break day would have been nice. A couple more days here would have been nice, actually. But tomorrow's gonna. It's not gonna rain when I'm catching the bus. That's the main thing. So I won't get soaked. I hope. But I have to be out of here at 11, and then I have to kill three hours waiting for the bus. Which sucks. And that's all right. I mean, as long as it's cloudy, I'll just sit on the lawn for three hours. Uh, now I have to clean this place out. I've started packing already, so it's not too bad. And then a lot of the food just has to go in the bin. I can't take it with me. Leave it for stay and stuff like that. Uh, can't sit four hours on the bus. It's, it'll go bad. So anyway, 30 minutes left on this thing. Screen this. There you go. I just have to build myself up for that long hike. 27 minutes, that's enough. That's why. So that took uh, 25 past 15 minutes. So, but I still have the hill. So, that's the bad part. Uh, back again, last trip. This is pain, this uh, hike actually is, it's not too bad, but I mean, it's, it's a little ways, 40 minutes to get to a fishing spot, a little under maybe. See when we get up there, I'd say it's 40, 45 minutes. Rods are all ready to go. I don't think I'll catch anything. I think it'll be another fish list. I'm certainly not staying very late because I have to uh, have dinner, finish packing. Dinner's just sandwiches. I'm out of pasta. Well, I have some pasta ready, but I just cleaned the pot, so I don't want to mess up the pot again. So just sandwiches. And of course, there are lots of flies at this spot. <laughs> it's supposed to rain at four. It's supposed to really rain. Uh, so I could get pretty wet. I did bring rain clothes, so uh, we'll see. Well, we have sheep. They're coming down to say hello. I think they have salt or something for food. That's why there's so many flies. The goats, I think. They're not sheep. The goats. Pretty agile. Um, straight down that cliff more or less anyway All right. well that's the last time I do that hill this year who knows if I come back next year oh thank god so to the gate I'm not there yet but it's half an hour so 10 minutes to the fishing spot from here no it's about 40 minutes so it's really not that bad half an hour stroll to the gate that's to the b station basically in bergen to the bus station or the train station is half an hour and that's of course that's all downhill but i mean uh, so it's not that far i'm just feeling a little tired today so time to head on down to the fishing spot and then I think I'm gonna have to dig out my raincoat uh, just drop it so far but don't want it to get any worse in an hour it's supposed to really rain so I might have to dig out the rain pants which is gonna be very hot it's still 21 or 22 and very humid so I hope I don't have to use rain pants we'll see and there's the view the famous fence and the, there's the river 
It is a great spot. I did catch an ocean trout there. May catch another one, who knows? I doubt it. Well, there it is, the famous river fishing spot. It's really not too bad. Could almost use waders, but I'm glad I didn't. I'm tired, I didn't want Well, back at exactly the same spot as last time. It's even a little bench to sit on, which I'm gonna sit on now. And then, still not raining heavily enough to put on the raincoat, but it's getting closer to raincoat time. Pants are okay. Anyway, time to unpack the backpack. Well, now the rain's starting to come down, so on with the rain pants. Still a drizzle, but it's picking up, so rain pants it is. All sorted. <coughs> we'll get them on first. <coughs> it's a little warm though, with the rain pants on. It's nice and toasty anyway. Yeah, now the rain's really coming. Anyway. <coughs> Well, it stopped raining. I've been fishing 40 minutes. I had one piddler about that big <laughs> who came off the hook and otherwise nothing. So I think this is going to be another fish to stay. It sucks. I'm a little over it. At least it'd be good to catch a decent trout or something. I mean, I don't have to have an ocean trout, but a fat trout of half a kilo would be good. Although I've already had an ocean trout of about half a kilo. He was probably not 700 grams, I think half a kilo. I don't know, something like that. So that was probably the fish of the trip. Anyway, take a five minute break and then to get the big rod, big fly. That's a pain to cast, but I mean, I can cast it across the river. See if that does the trick. Big fly, big fish, right? Maybe. Huh. Well, I've been fishing for two hours now. I got here at 2.30. Did I? I'm not sure. It's now 4.30. Almost two hours. And apart from the one piddle piddler that jumped off the hook, I didn't quite catch him. Nothing, not a bite. And it's fished. Half an hour, 40 minutes with the big rod, which is exhausting. Nothing. This sucks. This is really depressing when you don't even get a bite. And I should have had some breakfast. I didn't. Or some lunch. I like it. It's a pretty spectacular mountain stuff. And that's funny, there's fall colors already. You can see definitely those are fall colors already the end of July. That's very early. It's not even August yet. July 27th, fall colors. It's come, coming early this year. That's really strange. The rest of it is green as can be, but I mean, that's really strange to see yellow leaves now. Some of them are quite yellow, all yellow. I mean, that's really weird. Bizarre. Anyway, I don't know, maybe that means an early winter. Maybe lots of snow, woohoo! That'd be good. There wasn't that much snow last year. Last year wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great either. Although it was the coldest January in about 50 years or something. It was a cold month. But the rest of the winter was very mild. So, I mean, uh, and I didn't get any randonnée skiing. So hopefully this winter, randonnée skiing and an expedition to Mielfeld, and maybe some downhill. There was COVID restrictions last year for downhill skiing. So they had limits on how many people could go. They had to book in, in advance. And it was complicated. And I didn't really feel like being in a crowded lift line uh, with the COVID. That was, remember, before the vaccine. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, 
enough people get vaccinated, maybe things will go back to normal a bit. Looking very bad in Sydney though. 167 or 172. Very bad. So good luck with that. Well, I'm going to change flies on a little rod, little rod and try again. I don't know how long. I'll try and fish until 6 if I can make it that far. Uh, just ca casting and casting and not getting a bite is gets a bit boring after a while. <laughs> Depressing is what it is. So I'll try that. Well, change flies again. That was uh, some kind of zonker. I'm putting on a black muddler minnow. This is depressing. I don't know how long I can keep this up with uh, zero results. <coughs> oh dear. Two minute break. Well, it's quarter to six now. I've been fishing since I don't know. Can't I leave? At least three, if not two thirty. So that's over three hours, and I'm kind of fished out now. I'm just my casting is going to pot, and I'm just catching a lot of weeds, and it's no fun anymore. So quit while you're ahead before I break something. Uh, and then I'm looking forward to. Still have two cold beers left and some crackling liqueur and strawberries and raspberries and cherries which have to be finished off although they were frozen solid in the fridge which is kind of stupid but and a sandwich and then an early bed because I have to get up early to clean the uh, clean out the hitter so I still have a 40 minute walk back luckily it's all downhill mostly so I'm actually kind of tired now so that's uh, I think that was enough. It was a disappointing last day and I didn't really put any effort, but uh, it's no point if you're just catching grass and weeds. I'm just catching the bushes behind me, uh, so it's not working. So that's the end of this fishing trip. I could stay here until midday tomorrow, all night fishing, if I was really dedicated. Bring a sleeping bag up. I did bring a sleeping bag. No tent, but I'm not that dedicated. <laughs> not at all. So I didn't have a single night fishing session, which was stupid. That's when the ocean trout are out. But uh, I did catch, I caught one. Not very big, or maybe that big, but I caught an ocean trout. So I mean, it was not a total loss. Uh, and it was a good size, good hand size ocean trout. Not as big as the trout that you buy in the store at still, sir. The Bua, but uh, he was pretty solid. So I mean, not a total disaster. If I'd caught nothing all the whole trip, I would have been quite disappointed. But uh, I can live with that. I was a little disappointed today. I just had one piddler jump off the hook. So that's disappointing. This today's trip is uh, a bust, uh, and the weather was not great either. But uh, what are you going to do? All right, I'm going to take a five minute break and then I'm more or less packed up and then I'm going to mosey slowly back home to the cabin. Yep. Well, I've had my break, so... It's time to say goodbye to the river. Got me an ocean trout. It's cooler at least. It's not boiling hot. I'll take a feed before I go. And... Um, just need to put my water bottle away. My backpack is sopping wet, of course. Anyway, the rods. Well, I had a feeling today was not going to be a good day, so can't have a great day every day. No accidents though, I didn't go in the river, and I didn't break a rod, and I didn't get a fly in my eye, or in my cheek, or in my nose in my ear. Ear is most likely one. So that's all right. Well, last time doing this famous hill for maybe quite a few years. I don't know if I'll come back to it or long. 
Yeah. So a local woman passed me, said it was maybe too early for the fish. So that would explain a lot for them to go this far up the river. Maybe you have to come back in August. Or maybe it's just not that good. <laughs> Most likely. Anyway, I'm at the halfway spot. So, still threatening some rain, but it's pretty muggy. I think I have to lose the jacket. It's getting too hot now. I'm back. I'm so glad I left myself a beer. The plan was not to, but I did after all. So, please, please with that. <clears throat> Two. Not enough to not wake up tomorrow morning, but just enough to uh, cool down because it's very hot and muggy. I got very sweaty in all the rain gear. I have to take these rain pads off, actually. They're yeah, really annoying. And they're dry. So if it pours tomorrow, I'll be okay. Oh, well, not really. I have to wait three hours before the bus in the rain, but it's not supposed to rain tomorrow, at least not in the middle of the day. So bus leaves at 14.40. Local bus goes at 14.10 or 14.15, more or less. And that should be, then I have to kill three hours here somehow. So anyway. Well, I'm more or less packed up. <clears throat> so, and I've eaten what I could of the raspberries, finished all the raspberries and most of the cherries and half the strawberries, although they were frozen and defrosted, so they weren't that great. Still sweet and tasty though, but I mean, they're not perfect. It's a shame the fridge was too cold. Everything was frozen, even the beer was frozen. <clears throat> so this is day six and day five fishing although i did miss a day but day five of the fishing and day six since i got here uh and then i'm leaving tomorrow and then you can see we actually have they have clean sheets and pillows and even a towel although i didn't bring coins for the uh for the shower for the hot water so i don't even know what kind of coins they take so i didn't shower so I shower when I get home. That's a week without showering and a week without shaving. It's kind of, yeah, it's going to be good to do that when I get back. Uh, and then look over the videos, have a few cold ones. Uh, should be good. I get back around six. And I've made my sandwiches for tomorrow. I just had sandwiches for dinner. <clears throat> it's going to be a big backpack. And the only question is whether I walk into town tomorrow in the rain or some rain anyway whether i wait for the bus and then cut it very close to the connecting bus that goes to bergen the express bus uh because if something goes wrong if this bus up here doesn't show up and then i'm stuck up here for another day and that's another thousand kroner in bus tickets and another cabin and that would be bad so I may just hike it, although it's a heavy pack. It's a really big pack backpack. It's not cool. Although there's no beer in it this time. So, huh, save some weight there, but I've got extra food. And it's it would suck having to hike down. It's much easier to just wait and take the bus. So the plan is to take the bus, but I mean, it's risky. Very risky. That bus, I have to make that bus, and the bus has to come, or I'm in trouble. There's no way I'll, I'll make it down in half an hour. I have to run all the way, sprint, uh, in the heat, or not that hot tomorrow, but that would be bad. So, anyway, here's the little cabin let. So, big camera goes in the big backpack little camera GoPro stuff and extra batteries goes in a little backpack and this goes in the little backpack with my papers and my bus ticket <clears throat> I still have to pack some clothes away I had two extra long underwear I didn't need those and I didn't need extra pants I did need the rain gear 
I didn't need my waders. I didn't need the net. That was stupid. Well, not stupid. If I caught a big fish, I'd need it. But, of course, I didn't catch a big fish. And then two water bottles. Um, in case the toilet doesn't work on the bus, I'll empty one bottle and use it as a pee bottle in absolute dire emergencies. I mean, I th I'm assuming it'll work on the bus it did on the way here, which is just as well, because it's four hours. That's a little too long to hold it. Uh, and then they, I didn't need the, uh, the life vest, fishing life vest. Uh, I wasn't sure. I mean, if I'd done some night fishing, I might, might have used it, but I didn't do any night fishing. Uh, for some rivers, you need it. It's you know, better to have it uh, if you go in the river and go for a swim. So... Anyway, not too many people here, probably about a dozen. The uh, crowds have left, and oh, it's 9.15, it's almost bedtime. Go to bed early this time and try and sleep. Slept very badly last night. <clears throat> no, it's very bad, didn't fall asleep until 3 and woke up at 11.30. So I have to be up at 9 uh, at the very latest tomorrow because I have to clean the floor I have to clean the ashtray and I have to clean a glass. Uh, I've cleaned all the rest. I've cleaned the stove. And and the rest looks pretty okay. And I've emptied the fridge, more or less, apart from the sandwiches. And some food, some pasta has to go on. And I've got about four sandwiches I made up. And then I cleaned all the cutlery and the pots. <coughs> it's supposed to, it's self-cleaning snow cleaning service here and there's a cleaning lady who comes around but she does just the minimal minimal stuff uh, I've got face masks deodorant just as well after a week of no showering and I've got two clean t-shirts so I'll wear one to bed and then I'll wear one on the bus tomorrow this one is a reeker it's very bad this is uh, it goes in a dirty clothes bag, <clears throat> for sure. All right. Well, that was uh, not a successful day, but it's been a successful trip. I got a trout. Some people have caught nothing. And I met another fisherman, two fishermen today. Uh, and the last one said he just caught a little piddler and put him back. And he was using a spinning rod, not a fly rod, and worms. Uh, which I should be almost guaranteed to get you some fish if there's actually fish out there. So, I mean, uh, I don't know where he was fishing, a little further up from here. <clears throat> so, fishing isn't great. This has been a bad fishing year by all accounts. And not only this river, but every other river, including Lardal, where you pay, get this 6,000 kroner to fish two days, although it does include dinner. And I'm assuming it includes accommodation. Uh, I don't know, but maybe not. Maybe that's extra. But 6,000 kroner for two days. That's 1,200 bucks for two days fishing. <laughs> so this was a lot cheaper. I paid uh, 1,700 kroner for almost for five days fishing. So uh, big difference. Anyway, so there you go. That is a super river though, uh, Lardal. Uh, probably a better river than this one. So, uh, but uh, very exclusive for royalty and and the, and the the nice the fine people or whatever you want to call it. Well, I've got whoops. Three hours to kill, so it's 11, bus leaves at 2, back to the same spot where I camped last time too, and where I arrived and where I got stung by a wasp, so no getting stung this time, hopefully. That was not a good start. And it's not pouring, it's hardly raining, just a tiny drizzle, this is perfect. It may rain more heavily later on, so that could be a problem, but uh, we'll see. I hope it doesn't rain, because now 
uh, everything will get soaked. That's not good. So I'm really praying that it stays like this for the next three hours. And then it's forecast sun, but I'll be on the bus anyway. So, and it's forecast lightning and thunder and lightning, which is, I'm sitting right on a kind of a, a field or a, 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 a grassy stretch of ground with just a few trees, so not good for lightning. I'm assuming it won't. It doesn't, certainly doesn't look like thunder and lightning now, but and that could change. So, uh, anyway, just a few little droplets of water. I don't need my raincoat yet.